What is a healthy brain? A healthy brain um, is one that can have a good mood, a good stable mood, that is resilient to stresses in our environment that perhaps most importantly can adapt and learn. That ability to adapt and learn is like our secret power as human beings. Um, we, we, we call this neuroplasticity and it, it's, a, it's a feature um, that the, the human brain is the, the best at on the planet and it is the sort of the cornerstone of what makes us human. Why am I, a, a neurosurgeon, so interested in neuroplasticity? Well, um, my neurosurgical practice has been focused in a field called neuromodulation. And neuromodulation largely focuses around implanting and using devices to change brain function for things such as Parkinson's disease, tremor, OCD, and depression, among other diseases. At its very core, these devices really don't do much more, at least in their current in incarnation, as releasing the brain that is besieged by a pathological entity like a disease and allowing the brain's natural neuroplasticity to sort of be released and take over. And that's what creates the healing so that a patient can recover. So over the last couple of decades where I did these operations, I would always see differences between the groups of these patients. Some patients, you know, got better, but they still struggled with their comorbidities and their other diseases. Um, others had a very unique response. They got so much better, so much better that some Parkinson's patients ended up running triathlons. And, you know, as much as I would like to sort of attribute that to, to, to my good work, I, I knew that really what was going on was a certain X factor in these patients themselves. And that truly is the ability to sort of be plastic and, and recover. And so I started to do a little more deeper dive about the, other, the diseases of aging that we all face, because at the end of the day, something like Parkinson's disease is just a focal form of aging in a tiny part of your brain. It's like, it's, it's as if a small part of our brain has just gotten older than the rest of us. That's really in essence what Parkinson's disease is. So I got interested in aging in general. Okay, if, 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 that, if Parkinson's is a focal area of aging, what, what is aging in general? That's kind of how I got interested in this. And if you look at all the diseases of aging, they, they all have kind of this fundamental commonality. They all involve aspects of inflammation. They all involve aspects of mitochondrial dysfunction. Mitochondria are the small parts of our cells that create energy for us to live and to do our living processes. And then finally, insulin signaling dysregulation. And insulin is like the chief growth hormone of our body. There are other hormones that promote growth in our bodies, but insulin, that's the linchpin for growth in our bodies. And when those three things begin to get dysregulated, we get the diseases of aging. And if you look at cancer, you look at heart disease, you look at strokes, Parkinson's, Alzheimer's disease, and yes, things like major depression, they all, if you sort of deeply dive into what's going on, have things involving inflammation, mitochondrial dysfunction, and insulin signaling dysregulation. And so, the idea being is that if you can make gentle nudges in these three areas, you can make really big changes in a patient's life in terms of how we deal with the process of aging. And that's what HealthSpan is. And if you apply that to the brain, that's what I call brain span. <laughs>